Now, Kathleen Sebelius uh, is the head of the HHS. She's Secretary of uh, Health and Human Services. And she is reported in USA Today that she will be stepping down. Now, President Obama has already accepted her resignation, so she will be stepping down. Um, and they will be, he will be nominating Office of Management and Budget Director Sylvia Matthews Bur Burwell to replace Kathleen Sebelius. So, I want to get your guys' thoughts on this breaking news. Why do you think Kathleen Sebelius is stepping down? Does it have anything to do with the disastrous rollout of Obamacare? Now, give me your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Well, for me, I have no idea why she's stepping down. Like, they set, well, both kind of internally, they set the standard of signing up up to 7 million people by, you know, the deadline that's just passed. Kind of external pundits kind of agreed with that, and they, or at least that amount that they expected to get, and they reached that goal, and they surpassed it. And okay, yes, they had problems with the website, but even despite those, they surpassed the goals that they set, and everyone accepted those goals. Now, if they'd only signed up, you know, 1 million people, 2 million people, and it seemed a bit of a failure, I can understand that, because it was, you know, she was the face of Obamacare, well, besides Obama himself, but she completed all of the goals that she was set. I have no idea whatsoever why she's being fired. Whether it's the case of she's being pushed or whether she is being forced kind of through media pressure from the kind of the right hand side of the aisle, you know, that's up to debate. And she's never gonna say, Oh, I was forced to go out. She's gonna say, Oh, I've become a distraction and so on and so forth. But for me, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever for her to leave. Jordan. Okay. Here's why Steven's wrong. Um, it, he's got some valid points, but he, here's the big the big problem. Why I don't know that she has to step down, but why it's not necessarily wrong that she is stepping down. One uh, from the approach of Are you doing this because of right wing pressure? Completely idiotic. If because what we've seen time and time again. I mean, hell, it's why Obamacare exists. Is, be, is that whenever Obama gives away the queen, the right wing does not acknowledge that. They just c state their position then what was once their original right wing position as the extreme left and argue further to the right. So they're, like her stepping down, they're just going to spin it as him acquiescing, or not as him acquiescing to crazy demands, but as him acknowledging what a failure his program is. Like they were, whenever they demanded he extended these deadlines, and then whenever he extended deadlines, they said, see, he's extending deadlines, what a failure. Uh, this, this is their MO. So, so I, like, if that's the reason in doing it, then that just once again shows how much no drama Obama hasn't learned from the no drama approach. Um, but I will say this, if this is, you know, punitive, if this is, you know, them, the, the administration saying, hey, you've done a less than stellar job, uh, which may at first seem like uh, a hard point to swallow because of what Stephen brought up, you know, the goal in, at the end was met, I still think there's ground to stand on there. And here's why. Because we can all agree, like, it, wa it wasn't just a glitchy website. The rollout was bungled. It was Horrible. It was inexcusably bad. I mean, you can't argue that. It got fixed, and not only did it get fixed, it, you know, they met the ending expectations. It was almost like it didn't exist from the ending standpoint. But here's why the Obama administration has grounds to come after Sibelius for their own reasons, and it's this. Because that website was down for so long, because so many people couldn't sign up, those, those were the people who lost insurance because of Obama. Again, we've got to be honest here, because of Obama's lie about getting to keep your insurance. Um, they couldn't see that their Obamacare options were actually better. Like how many stories have we seen? How many anecdotes have we seen where people who first came out against Obamacare because they lost their coverage and then two or three weeks later found out like, oh, hey, we've got better coverage. It's cheaper and it gives me more health care. All, those situations were allowed to happen and fester and become talking points because of this bungled website. If the uh, the rollout had worked and functioned the way it would have, those talking points never would have gotten a chance to exist and gain traction. Because the fact that those anecdotes have almost 100 percent, you know, anecdote by anecdote, been overruled, and we've seen people are better off, it doesn't matter. Once it gets out in the media, that's what sticks. 
And so, uh, you know, I know she didn't program the website, but leadership has to take responsibility. You got to take, you got to get rid of the people who were actually involved over the website, uh, and you know, not just the contractors, but even the government officials who, you know, were over the process. You gotta, you've got to bring the hammer down. And uh, I, I don't know that you necessarily have to bring it down on her, but the fact of the matter is, she's she's the head of it. She represents it all for right or wrong. And uh, there was a lot of ammunition against the administration that didn't have to be there that happened under her watch. So uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that that say. last point about the ammunition that that's a that's a good point. You know that the, I mean the the bad rollout, yeah, that did that did provide a lot of ammunition to the right wing. I mean I'm sure they would have came up with something else anyway because, you know, whether they had to make shit up, which they probably would have. I mean let's let's keep it real. They love to make shit up. About the healthcare law or not, this gave them an actual, honest, like, real talking point to use based on something that sort of actually happened. I mean, it turns out that all of those anecdotes, as you said, were you know debunked one by one. But you're right. Once it gets out, once people hear it first, that's what they buy. And look, there's study after study that shows that when people are on a certain side of an issue. And they hear something, they hear misinformation, and then someone comes back later to debunk that information, disinformation. They will believe the disinformation stronger. They will have a stronger belief in that misinformation. So that's why, you, Jordan, you make an excellent point. Sean, go ahead and jump in. Yeah. So it's important to point out that we're pretty much speculating here, and we don't know the reasons why she went, why she, why she's resigning, but. Um, the website is kind of not really her fault. Like, it was her fault that they didn't run one single test of the website before it went live. But the people they gave the contract to build the website were campaign contributors. So that's really the administration's fault. It's not really her fault. It's just the way our, uh, it's the way our political system works. If you contribute, you get a contract. But we're overlooking one other possibility on why she might have resigned now. And that's probably because she's going to go get paid. Like, I could see a story in the next month or the next two months or even in the next year of Sibelius going to work for a drug company who got a huge cutout in the deal or something like that. Like, it's it's not it's not unreasonable to think that she's going to go get paid somewhere and that she just resigned after they met this goal or whatever and they gave the Republicans their pound of flesh because they've been calling her for a resignation all along and now she's going to go get paid somewhere. Like, it's just a coincidental thing. Also, the... The 7.1 million people who signed up, like that, it, it could come out in the future that those numbers were inflated. So maybe they're, Obama's like preemptively trying to head head that off. So like it could be weakness. It could be that she's gonna get paid. It could be any number of reasons. We just really don't know at the moment. I I, fu I fully expect it to go and work for some sort of medical type of pro kind of private business, but I don't think it's gonna be within this year. I think it would be sometime in 2015 because soon the media will absolutely hound for it. But I also think it's not a case of saying, you know, well, was she to blame for, you know, the bungled rollout or not? Like, I don't. If if it had been an absolute failure, less than a million people had signed up, then it would have been expedient of the administration to fire her as soon as possible. However, it has been deemed by everyone apart from the right kind of the right wing talking point machine. It's been deemed as a success, and so I don't see it as it being politically expedient for Obama to not, you know, even if he hasn't asked her for a resignation, but for him to even accept her resignation at this point. I don't see why. You know, if she wanted to resign and she wanted to get out, fine. But if I was Obama, I would have said, look, hang on, Catherine, just wait until after the midterms, wait until after November 2014, and then, you know, then you can go after that. Whereas her going now, it almost it seems like, like it's, it is just adding more ammo. Why is he accepting a resignation then? That means she must have done wrong. That means Obamacare must be wrong. It must be bad. It, it's not helping the fact that Obama and the administration is accepting her resignation now. Why can't they just wait a couple of months until the midterms are over? And, and, and that sort of goes along with the fact that a lot of uh, Democrats are, have, have been running away from Obamacare, the, the Affordable Care Act, because they're scared of the midterms. Even though uh, the, the Affordable Care Act is actually finally become more, like, people approve of it more than they disapprove of it, finally, like, it's by, like, one point, 40, 
49 approve, 48 disapprove, right? But you still have Democrats running for the hills, and I think this is another example uh, of that. I mean, that's right. a good point, Stephen. But the, the thing I want to add, the reason I brought up her getting paid is because you guys remember when Robert Gibbs resigned out of nowhere, and yeah. then Obama, like, wrote an, an op-ed, like, thanking him and all that, or it was, like, leaked through something that, oh, he, he's worked so hard, but he hasn't had a chance to basically get paid yet. And, like, so I could just see that she's just trying to go get paid somewhere. Or she could be, she could become a lobbyist and then join Hillary Clinton's campaign team and come back into government if she wins. Like, there's a lot of possibilities of why she left. And it's it's just, it, 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 it's not, I, we just don't have enough information right now to know for sure. Yeah. 